what the actual duck. Mike Pence. Wow. Just when I thought that man could not be any more bizarre. Okay, quick question. What do you call a facility that is made to house a large number of people in inhumane conditions with the aim of treating them as less than worthy of human status and dehumanizing them in as many ways as possible and with the end result in some cases being people dying I damn well call that a concentration camp um, for any survivors of those horrible places from the war no disrespect meant to, to them they, they went through that and I've seen some clips where you have a lot of survivors from concentration camps saying this is a concentration camp so this is survivors of those places from World War Two saying these these facilities down on the border they're, they're damn well concentration camps and Mike Pence gets on his little high horse and goes to compare these places these centres to concentration camps is just obscene all the way his head's going like this while his words are going yeah yeah, yeah. it's obscene that Mike Pence thinks that these places are not uh, a nice holiday camp oh yeah no people are being looked after in these places uh, yes it is a bit sad to see you know um, men all crammed in together with not enough beds so they have to sleep on the floor what the duck what the friggin duck this robotic animated mouthpiece or whatever he is oh where do you get off i mean honestly and for that mike pence gets the tone it down deck that's what i call it it's when someone needs to tone thing tone it down a bit and you know take a good long look at themselves it's no disrespect meant to the people who created this deck i think it's got some glorious beautiful colors but it just seems to suit when you've got to tell people look you know bring it down a friggin notch you idiot you know um and also it's got this androgynousness about it and a lot of the most of the cards have this expressionless look that remind me of Mike Pence I was watching the interview he did on CNN I'm sorry I can't remember who he did it with but it was down on the border and I tried I tried and tried to look behind his eyes to see if there was anything more than This is the feeling I, I've, I've got to put forward this feeling, you know, that I can feel things. And it was like, it kept slipping. It didn't quite stay there. It's like, oh, I'm being sincere. But it just, behind it, there's just this ticket tape machine. Click, 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 saying what needs to be said, uh, which will explain the duck uh, on the cover, which is, a, apparently it was a real robot created in the 17th, century of a duck a robot duck that actually pooped so mike pence you're getting a what the actual duck spread with all this poop that you're coming out with okay so as i said i haven't i've only used this spread once i think so what the duck is this about what the what's he doing coming out with this shit because that's all it yeah pardon me i said i said a, I said a bad word as i said i don't normally try not to swear i try to keep it pg but sometimes 
that's not to say I don't swear, I swear plenty. I just, you know. The Ace of Wands flew out. New action. New action flew out. I'm going to put that aside as it flew out. I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck. What's at the bottom of the deck? Five of Pentacles. People who are just out in the cold. Neglected. Not looked after. Being treated like they're less than nothing. Yes, I had a nice little rant. <laughs> anyway. What's the face of the challenge here with Mike Pence? Why he's doing it? The Hierophant. In this case, it's the Department of Homeland Security and ICE, those government departments that are in charge of these facilities, who are in charge of the contractors who run these facilities. He's trying to make it seem like it's not as bad as he is. Well, look, buddy, that ship has already sailed. Everybody knows about it. Ocasio, AOC and Aisa, Aisa, the um, one of the other female Democratic representatives, have been down there and they they've testified. And oh my God, the pictures that have come out of there and and the statements from people who've been in there that that ship sailed, buddy. It just you know. What's the crux of the challenge here? The Seven of Wands. He's got to defend it. He's got to defend it. He's got to defend the way these departments have handled things. And these departments would have handled things better if the person telling them what to do wasn't such an asshole or a group of assholes. Okay? So he's got to defend that. That's his big challenge. That's that's the challenge that he's got to... Oh. What is this really all about? What is the actual duck? The magician. It's all about, don't look here. Look there. We're going to try and move things away from this because this is just one of the many, many things that we want people not to be looking at amongst the... Um, the Epstein scandal and the money and my possible role in inauguration, in the inauguration and what I may have done wrong. And that's what this is all about. It's a diversion, you know, and trying to make people think things aren't as bad as it seems. And that, you know, they're going to go apparently tomorrow and round up people from all over the country. Where are they going to put them? You know? How you know? I don't blame the mayors for these cities for 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 you know putting out information on these for these people and what their rights are, what they you know what, what I can do, what they can't do, and giving them advice on not answering the door and don't be out on the streets this day and stuff like that, because you know it's oh, it's a diversion. It's another diversion. Trying to make a kerfuffle because he knows. He knows it's it's a diversion him coming out with that. He knows people are gonna get upset about it. And it's another diversionary tactic from other things, mostly probably the Epstein stuff. <sighs> what is wrong about this? Oh, what isn't wrong about this? Dirty money. Dirty, dirty, dirty money and dirty, dirty, dirty deeds by a group of people who barely barely merit the title of people. I wouldn't even call them a group. I, I'm going on and on about dehumanising people. But honestly, this bunch of hyenas, that's insulting to hyenas, isn't it? I can't even call them anything. I just think this group of beings, despicable beings, is, you know... That's that's what it's all about. The Epstein thing, the, the money from it, and the and the people involved in it. That's what it's all about. Where do we need more info? We need more. the Queen of Swords. Hello. 
uh, Southern District of New York. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful group of people headed up by a wonderful, wonderful person. And Letitia James and everything. And she's coming down on Epstein and she's going to get everything out of this man. She's going to get as much as possible. Robert Kraft, too, I, I noticed, has been arrested apparently. So I, I did a reading, he, he was in with the first reading, I think I did, with or the second reading on Epstein's Gang, along with Bill Clinton and Prince Andrew. You should watch that one. Um, yeah, more info is going to come out of the Southern District of New York. Um, and I think that's anything about that case. It's going to, that's the court's going to, the sword's, yeah, that's the card for it. What can... I do. Well, what can he do, really? <laughs> he can try and create division and conflict. That's the Five of Swords. You know, he can try and create division and conflict. And that's what he's trying to do here. By getting people... Yes, I got riled up. But it's just disgusting that he, he says it's obscene to compare these places to concentration camps. Because that's what they are. And, you know, without without in any way diminishing what... what the Jewish populace went through in World War Two because it's, it's, you know. So yeah, so he's trying to create conflict. He's trying to get people up in arms and fighting over this as a as as a diversion from the Epstein matter. It's it's yeah. This is all about Epstein and creating doing something new to having it this is a new idea a new action that we're going to do to divert again and it's it's diversionary tactic again the same as the ice rates are um wow <laughs> is it working i'm going to ask is it working it might work for five minutes i think but Oh, the fool. The fool. That's popped out. He's being a fool if he thinks it's going to work. This little plan. Is it me or in this card, does it look like that dog is humping the fool's leg? <laughs> Sorry. Never going to be able to look at that card the same again. I have some cards, some decks, and certain cards in them. I just break out and giggle like little schoolgirl. You know, <laughs> when I see a picture and an image or something gets stuck in my mind about it. So, um, yeah. So, it's not working. He's a fool if he thinks it's going to work. What's going to be the outcome of it all? Five of sorts. Yeah, he's trying anything. Anything gain victory and to, to get this to work you know anything he's trying anything to get this to work and it yeah it's about protecting trump it's about protecting trump and is it going to work temperance be patient uh sienna rose pointed something out it's like just, just trying to confuse with going from cup to cup and cup to cup it's confusing what the source of the information is that's an interesting thing i looked at it as mixing up some kool-aid and hoping people will drink it in this instance when they're trying to divert attention away from the real issues two of cups him and him and what's his face Trump, I honestly got a blank on him for a minute. Um, they came, this, they came up with this together. What a pair of clever little ones, aren't they? <sighs> anyway, it's not, it's not going to work. Um, it's all about diversion coming out and saying such such a statement. It was a calculated statement. He just had to find the right time to fit it into that interview. It was a calculated statement meant to divert, get people angry and talking about something else. It pissed me off big time. 
um, and to use something as horrible and disgusting as concentration camps to divert away from the president's impending troubles is just the man has no emotions. Trump has too many. He's narcissistic. He just runs on emotions. But Pence has none. He'll just do what he's told like a good little robot. And, yeah, and to come out with such a horrible calculated statement that in aid of protecting somebody who could be involved in sex trafficking of, of children and sex trafficking anyone if you've seen some of my recent videos you'll know my views on sex trafficking so that's what it was it was just diversion and it's disgusting and horrible and again I don't wish harm on anybody but I, I really wish justice to come down on Mike Pence okay love you all please remember to like and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon